Good day everyone! The, in this video lesson, we will discuss about interpreting the mean and variance of a probability distribution. Okay, so in this video lesson, it will help you, you know, to understand why we need to find the mean and variance of discrete random variable and how to interpret it. So our objective is first, interpret the mean and variance of a discrete random variable and recall and apply the formulas for the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a discrete random variable. So for first, let's have uh, an activity. No? So I have here uh, the four formulas and then magbibigay ako ng situation. So you are going to uh, select what uh, appropriate formula na pwede dun sa situation na yun. Okay, so, so formula 1, this is for the mean, okay, mean of the discrete random variable. And for formula 2 and 3, that is for variance, okay. So, kasi sa variance class, uh, may dalawa tayong formulas. So, pwedeng ito ang gamitin nyo, or pwede rin ito. So, mad so ang ginagamit natin ito, no? sa mga video lesson na mga nakaraan, ito yung ginagamit natin, yung formula number 2. And yung formula number 4 naman is the uh, standard deviation. So, how to find the standard deviation. Okay? So, in situation number 1, so, I am thinking of finding the average number of heads that would uh, appear if I will toss the two coins together twice, which formula should I use? Okay? So, what do you think? So, I am thinking of finding the average number of heads that would appear if I will toss two coins together twice. Which formula should I use? Since uh, ang una natin gawin, uh, let's find a keyword no, para malid sa ating kung anong formula ang gagamitin. So, sa situation na binigay, so yung keyword natin dito is Okay, so that's for situation number 2. Yung keyword natin sa situation number 1 is finding the average. So, average meaning that is the expected value or the mean value. So, therefore, ang formula na gagamitin natin is yung formula number 1. Okay, yung paghahanap ng mean since average. No? Okay, in situation number 2, I went to the, the grocery store and I noticed that there are five different kinds of brown sugar at different prices. So, each brand has different probabilities that they will be sold. What formula should I use if I want to determine how the prices vary from the average price of the product that would be sold to the customer repeatedly? So, again, for situation number two, I went to the grocery store and I noticed that there are five different kinds of brown sugar at different prices. Each brand has different probabilities that they will be sold. So, what formula should I use if I want to determine how the prices vary from the average price of the product that would be sold to the customers repeatedly? So, what do you think is the a uh, correct formula na gagamitin natin sa situation number 2. So, ano ba yung keyword natin for situation number 2? So, ang keyword natin is prices vary from the average price. Okay? So, yung gagamitin natin since uh, it involves ang gagamitin natin situation number uh, for situation number 2 is the formula number 4 because it is the formula to be used if you want to find the standard deviation of a discrete random variable. So, even though formulas 2 and 3, no, the formulas 2 and 3, that is formulas to find the variance, and it measures also the variability of the values assumed by the random variable x, or wherein x is the prices no, of the brown sugar. So, in repeated trials, sold to the customer repeatedly. So, the units of standard deviation match those with x because Standard deviation is a square root of the variance. Okay, so therefore, formula number 4 yung gagamitin natin for situation number 2. Okay, so I hope na recall sa inyo kung paala saan at saan natin ginagamit, kung paano natin gagamitin yung formula for mean and 
the variance in standard deviation of a discrete random variable. Okay? So, kasi yung focus natin dito, interpret natin yung mean variance and standard deviation. Okay. So, for another activity, okay, suppose an alpha die uh, rolled and let x be the random variable representing the number of dots that would appear with a probability distribution below. So, here are the outcome. Okay? So, alam natin yung alpha die that is a 6 uh, six phases no na dice okay no yung may number na 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay so ito yung mga possible outcomes so 1 2 3 4 5 so ito ay given na class no Bin given itong nasa table natin so ang kailangan lang natin siguraduhin dito kailangan yung probability natin yung sum nito dapat equal sa 1 Okay? So, dapat equal to sa 1 kapag in natin. So, tatandaan natin yung dalawang properties ng discrete probability distribution na kung saan kapag in daw natin, no? Kapag in daw natin yung corresponding probability ng random variable natin dapat equal sa 1. And then, each uh, corresponding probability dapat nasa pagitan lang ng 0 and 1. Hindi dapat uh, mas mababa sa 0 o hindi dapat hindi pwedeng lumagpas sa 1. Okay, for number 1, what will be the average number of dots that would appear? So, kanina, no? Kanina sa uh, activity number 1 natin. So, pag hinahanap natin yung average numbers, sinabi doon at nilam natin kung anong formula ang gagamitin natin. Since average number ang hinahanap, so we're using this formula. Okay? Uh the value of the random variable times the corresponding probability. Okay, and then get the summation. So, what we're going to do? 1 times 0.1 plus 2 times 0 0.1 plus uh, 3 times 0 0.1 plus 4 times 0 0.5 plus 5 times 0 0.1 and plus 6 times 0 0.1. Okay? So, you can use your scientific calculator to answer this. So, what will be the answer? Okay, so 3.7. So, therefore, no? Therefore, the mean of the probability distribution is 3.7. Since the is equal to 3.7, we can say that the average number that would appear uh, the average number of dots that would appear is a number near 9, 97 to 3.7. Okay. Near to 3.7. So, that, wala itong 97 class. So, tanggalin natin. So, again, okay, we can say that the average number of dots that would appear is a number near to 3.7 which is 4. So, kung uulitin natin, no, ulitin natin yung pagtos ng die, so it we will repeat the experiment over and over, there is a higher the experiment, uh, the possibility the four dots will always appear since the average number of dots that would appear is four. Okay? So, how about if we're going to determine the variability of the assumed values from the mean? Okay, so let's say we're going to find the uh, assumed values of the outcome vary from the average number of deaths that would appear. So, ibig sabihin, hinahanap natin yung variance and standard deviation. Okay, so kanina pinakita ko sa inyo yung formulas ng uh, variance and standard deviation. So, sabi ko nga sa mga nakaraang video lesson na diniscuss ko, ang ginagamit kong formula is uh, ganito. Okay? So, i-multiply natin yung squared natin yung values ng random variable times the corresponding probability. Then, kunin natin yung summation na to sa bago i-minus sa squared ng value ng mean na nakuha natin. O, pwede rin yung isa, no? E, yung value ng random variable minus nyo sa value ng mean tapos squared times the corresponding probability. So, pwede rin ganun. So, may dalawa kayong formulas na pwedeng gamitin kapag kukunin yung variance. So, using this formula, so, na-discuss na rin naman to sa video lesson ng 
uh, bago ito, no? may na-discuss tayo kung paano nagsusolve ng variance and standard deviation ng discrete random variable. So, pwede nyo yung balikan. Okay, so, pag nagko-compute tayo ng variance, so, i-squared natin yung value ng random variable, saka natin i-multiply sa corresponding probability niya. So, 1 squared times 0.1 plus 2 squared times 0.1 plus 3 squared times 0.1 plus 4 squared times 0.5 so it should be 0.5 and okay so okay so and then 5 squared times 0.1 plus 6 squared times 0.1 and then minus no yung value nung mean natin which is 3.7 so squared natin yon and then use your calculator simplify so, the answer is 1.81. So, you can check using your calculator kung 1.81 ba yung nakuha nyo rin dyan. And then, the standard deviation, napakadali gawin ng standard deviation kasi kunin lang natin yung square root na nakuha natin sa variance. So, that is the square root of the variance. So, square root ni 1.81, the answer is 1.35. So, ibig sabihin, the variance of the random variable x, which is the number of dots appeared, is equal to 1.81, while the standard deviation is equal to 1.35. So, remember class, okay, so tingnan natin. So, based dito sa activity number 2 natin, uh, you can... Uh, Take down notes of the following kasi ito yung pinaka-importante na dapat yung tandaan. Okay? Take note that the small variance or standard deviation means that the assumed values or data points tends to be, be very close to the mean. So again, so kapag masyadong maliit yung variance or the standard deviation, means that the assumed values or data points tend to be very close to the mean. And then, higher variance or standard deviation, okay, while higher variance or standard deviation, it means that the assumed values or data points are spread out from the mean. So, ibig sabihin class, and also, uh, please remember that the variance and standard deviation, it measures or describe how far a set of data or assumed values of random variables is spread out. So, since dito sa activity number 2 natin, no, since the value of the standard deviation is 1.35, we can say that the assumed values of each outcome are somewhat close to the mean for about 1.35 units from the mean. So, again class, so knowing this information, so pwede uh, dito pa lang, maintindihan nyo na agad si, var si mean variance and standard deviation. Pero, okay, so to understand more the concept of the variance and standard deviation, so I'll give you another examples, okay, para mas lalo nyo maintindihan. So the uh, first data in the following example is somewhat expected to have a higher variance and standard deviation of variability compared to the other data. Okay, so again, uh, the first data in the following examples is somewhat expected to have a higher variance and standard deviation or variability compared to the other data. Okay, for example, number one, the population size of 100 different countries around the world compared to the population of 10 countries belong to the first world countries. So, yung unang situation daw, no, yung first data, so ito yung somewhat expected na merong higher variance and standard deviation. So, ito yung the population size of 100 different countries around the world. Bakit? So, considering uh, due to a large number of samples, kasi nga 100 no, different countries, and the other factors such as land area, economic status, etc., you may say that the most likely you will get a higher variance and standard deviation compared to the population of 10 countries belong to the first world countries. No? So, ito talaga yung makakakuha ka ng mas mataas na variance standard deviation because of the 
pop, uh, population size of 100. Okay, another. The number of students in different universities compares to the number of students in a class in a particular school. So, dito, titingnan mo na lang yung laki ng university tapos yung laki ng isang class, di ba? Eh, sa university, may madami pang course yan, iba't ibang course, ilang estudyante ang naka-enroll. Kumpara sa students sa isang classroom lang. Kaya, uh, mas mataas talaga ang makukuha mong Variance standard deviation for the number of students in different universities. Okay. Another. Okay. The number of people who love to play basketball in different barangays to the number of basketball players from different teams who play in the first quarter game. Okay. We all know basketball is a famous game. And almost every guy loves to play this game. So, alam natin yan. So, imagine that you will gather the number of people who love to play from different barangays. It is expected that you will gather different results compared to the number of basketball players from different teams who play in the first quarter game. So, almost everybody is aware that there are only five players from each team to play a game. So therefore, if you will compute the variance of the data from different teams, you will get a value of zero. The mean will be equal to five because each team who play the game will should have five players only. Okay. At the same time, if you will compute the variance or distribution with equal inputs, you will get a value of zero. So ito yung mga situation na kung saan ah. Uh, makikita nyo kung saan tayo makakuha, makagain or makakuha ng higher variance and standard deviation. Okay. So, remember also, so the mean and variance of a discrete random variables are easy to understand if you know the concept behind these two measurements. So, as you go on with, so, sa mga susunod na lesson natin, Mean and variance will always be included in the discussion because uh, the mean, variance, and standard deviation are important in statistics because they serve as the basis for other types of statistical calculation or statistical tests. Okay, test yourself. So analyze the following pairs of data and identify which of the following will most likely yield to a higher variance and higher standard deviation. So, meron tayong lima dito. No? May limang questions na meron tig de dalawang situation. So, kunin nyo dyan yung situation na makakakuha tayo ng higher variance and higher standard deviation. Okay, so pwede nyo muna i-post yung video sa kanyo uh, i-play ulit. Alright, so... Ito yung sagot natin dyan. For number one, okay, si situation number one, ang makakuha tayo ng higher variance and higher standard deviation. Sa question number two, situation number one pa din. No? The number of fish inside the aquarium from different household. Sa number three, okay, sa so number of COVID patients from different hospitals kumpara dun sa fever in a barangay. Okay, so number four, Yes, the number of kernels in corn of different sizes. Okay, number five. Okay, yung situation number one pa din. No? So, if you get five out of five class, congratulations. You, can sh you may share your score in the comment section of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.